so the fifth exercise and uh, this is the last exercise for this module uh, we have is for formula fields so uh, for this we are going to use the same uh, source file that we used earlier let me just uh, reload it you can, you guys can open that uh, report model as well so uh, i'm going to use the uh, source file from the first exercise which is the sample orders okay so uh, here you see that we have uh, all the data extracted automatically and if i just uh, review the readme file so i'll know that what we are going to do okay so uh, here's our use case basically uh, what i want to do is uh, apply some discount to this uh, total price okay so for, for that i have to create a new field in which i can uh, have the discounted price and then i'll have to write the formula for that price so first of all to create such fields we we call them formula fields and to create such fields you can right click on the data region and you see there is an option to add a formula field so just mm -hmm. click on this one and this uh, expression builder will uh, pop up so this is a uh, quite common and you will see it in upcoming uh, modules as well so we call it uh, expression builder or uh, uh, expression properties so here you can write uh, uh, your own formula you can use uh, our custom defined functions which we have here so we have uh, different uh, categories for functions as well so can we have conversion logical date time functions and uh, so on and so forth we have some uh, functions for a string regular expressions so we have like about uh, more than 500 functions that uh, we give you along with the report miner so you can use them or you can uh, you know write a simple uh, mathematical formulas like uh, multiplication subtraction addition and all uh, which we are going to do in this case so as i told you we are going to apply some discount on the total price so first of all i'll change the name of this field from formula to let's say discounted price then in the expression i am going to uh, open this object panel the the window on the right you see this is the object panel and it gives you the layout of your, all the uh, fields available to use in your formula so i am going to use this total field which is a real value so i can apply mathematical functions here like uh, multiplication or addition and i am going to write a formula which says okay i let's say uh, i want to apply a 20% discount so i'll multiply it with uh, 0.2 and then uh, i'll subtract this total value uh, from subtract this discounted value from the total value, total amount okay so this is going to be my uh, my uh, formula okay so let's compile it and it is successful here so uh, whenever you write a formula you can uh, simply just uh, uh, click on this compile button to see if you have any kind of syntax errors or not so for example if i uh, don't close this uh, bracket here and then i compile so it will give me an error that says okay uh, unexpected end of expression form so for such kinds of error you can simply uh, click on compile button and uh, it will auto automatically detect it now it is successful click okay so you see that there is a new field and uh, this is the icon we use for the formula field and right now it is a string data type but if i want to change its data type i can uh, do it from here i can keep it to real okay now let's preview the data so you see uh, here we have the total price and here you can see the uh, price after subtracting the discount this is how we can create formula fields. In the next video, we will learn how to auto parse names and address fields in Astara Report Miner.